with what? A class of students. So you have, then you have to, you know, define, you need to define a public string. You see, so you say public, okay, then it's a string. String, okay, then you give it a name. So you can make it a name in any, anything, so if we say N, M, that that name, okay? Then we have our bracket, um, open and close. Um, this. All right, so we have this. Okay, so you can say get. And if you use get, you need to use this. Okay, get. Select it, then you say set. Okay, so when you do that, you have the name get set. All right, declare another public. So you can copy the same thing like this over here. Okay, so you say command C. You know, in writing code, we must always find a means to do things faster, to make things faster for ourselves. So we push this one. Over here, we change from the name to gender. So we say gender. Okay, so we have a gender, and all we get is a get set. Then we open and close that. After that, okay, we have our class program, and we have starter void main string. That is where you are going to write your main code. Okay, so over here, we say student. Okay, student. Okay, then you declare that. Student. Okay, then you say student. Student. Okay, then you have to assign it to be equal to what? A new student that you don't know. So you say a new. Okay, and a student, we can decide to make, make, let, make the, our student here S, big S, capital S. So we come here, then we say our new student, okay, so capital S. So we pick this one. Okay, then what do we do? You got to put this one in front. Like that. Oh, all right, then after that, okay new student and with a new student we gotta start giving the student name all right so we say new student okay you see that because we put in a class as a student over here so, so we say new student okay then we say we use this good new student something like this then we have to declare the name of a student and the gender of the student okay so we can put a comma here so we come here and we say name okay name now we assign the name to an arbitrary student. So we'll let us use uh, this. Then we we'll say maybe the first student is called John. Okay. Then we we'll say John. Okay. Then we have a comma. Then we we'll say gender of John. Okay. Let's select gender. And we assign it. To be equals to a male. So gender is a male. Okay, so a new student name gender is equals to what a male. Okay, now when we come here, 
we can copy the same thing over here like that. Okay, command C, and multiply it roughly by five. Okay, command Z. So I say command V, command V, command V. All right. So here I can call this one maybe Jones, which is a name of a male student. Or uh, Jane. Let's make this one maybe Jane or something like that. Jane. I would say Jane is a female. Jane is a female. So Jane is a female. Then I can use this one. I like the name that start with J. See, this one is Jim. Then I'm going to go with Jim. Definitely, you know for sure, Jim will be a male. Then I will use my old friend's name. Okay, Sarah, for instance. Sarah will be a female. So let's copy this one. So we don't, we don't waste our time typing. So we put it here, it's a female. Okay, come on, V. So we have this. All right. Now we have to let console communicate with us. So we come down here and we say console.write, see? The little, little stuff. So here has to be that. That's why I'm having this issue. This. So I have console dot write, then I'll say my quotation mark over here, and I put in um female. I'm going to copy female. Don't I don't waste time. Command C. Put in here. Command C. Command V. Female. Okay. Now say student. Then I say for each for each okay into bracket then I close for each student for each variable okay student for each variable student in the student Okay, and a student, so this give me plural. Okay, so how the for each of our student, then for sure, if I say that I need to bring an open bracket, okay, here. All right, take this one, I'll bring that one later on. Then I come down here and I say, Come down here, and I say if, if, if student gender is equals to female, for instance, because I've declared that one over here. So if I say if student you see, the logic is flowing. If student, okay, so if student dot gender, let me see, dot, if you to give me, boom, there it is, student dot gender, I have to assign it to be equal to something. So really I say, for each variable student in the students, if student dot gender is equal and equals to, a female that that female gotta be in this a female caps F E male female right then I will say this 
expand this one down here. Then I can see if student dot gender is equal to is equal, is equal and equals to female, then consult right line student name. All right. <coughs> so <coughs> after further deliberation, we have our class name. We we have our class name. Okay, let me bring this one here. So we can get okay. So we have a class using a system class student, a public string name, and we say get set public string gender get set. Okay, then we have a class program. As this one opens here, we have a static void main string. Okay, then we have a student. Okay, this helps us to be able to assign students to a new student. Okay, then we open this one. Now we say new student. We have name John and gender is male. We have a new student, Jane, gender, female. And as it goes on, and after that we close it here, then we come down here with a console, right down. Right line, female students. Then we say for each variable student in a student, if student dot gender is equal and equals to female, then the console right line student name. Okay. So now, if we, if we, if we this, when we get to this point, we say console dot right line. Okay. We want the male student to be on a, on different line. So for each variable student and students okay as we did here okay so we come down here so we say if student dot gender is male console write line student dot name then after that we finish it up by saying console dot read line so okay now we, now we can run and see what are the program is effective you know so we come up here and say run as we wait for the build output. Okay, so everything is successful. See if we, we have student, male, John, okay. If we have John Jim here. If I come here and I put in Sarah. At H, Sarah, and I enter. So the program works. So this one can help us to be able to, you know. But we can, this is basic, but we can develop it further to, you know, support it with further code to make it more useful. I think that's where we bring this tutorial to a close. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.